If you want to build a DIY garden edge, there's a trick to doing it right. And that means it has to be secure to the soil and interconnected so it doesn't fall. We're gonna show you how to do it right now. Okay, so for this project, you're gonna need some landscape spikes. These are galvanized. These come in handy to mark out where you want your garden bed. So I'm just gonna put it right here into the ground and mark it out with my string. And we can create whatever border you want with your string line. So you get that where you want it. We're just gonna mark out our beds here. This one's gonna be a 90 degree right here. So I'm using a four by four pressure treated edging and I like to just dry fit it and I'm looking to go down. If you have grass here, I want this below the grass line or the sidewalk because that's gonna help stabilize the edging. I'll show you here. I'm just gonna dig down about four inches and we're gonna use gravel for drainage. Stop right now, I'm just gonna get my limestone. Whenever you're using pressure treated wood, you wanna have some drainage beneath it. Otherwise your wood is gonna rot really fast. And I'm just gonna fill this right now with our drainage rock. I'm just gonna fill this whole area up. This will also provide us with a nice level base. So next you wanna make sure that your drainage rock is really well, nicely tamped down. You can use a tamper for that. I'm just gonna use my sledge. I'm gonna compact it all down. And this is for drainage and also to get a nice solid level bay. Now, once you've done that, you wanna make sure that you put your first four by four down or six by six, whatever you're using. And we're using a speed level here. We're checking for level this way. And we're gonna check level along the whole length of it. Once you've got that down, we're good to go on our next piece over here. And that's gonna make a 90 degree flower bed. We've backfilled, we've tamped this down, we've backfilled. I got my half inch drill bit centered up. Okay, so we got our one hole there. Okay, where's my mallet? Third is gonna be on the end over here. We've pre-drilled and now we're just gonna mallet this in, hammer this in. Always to call before you dig. You know what that is, Danny? Oh yeah, watch those gas lines. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've had our gas lines, our fiber optics, our water is all mapped out before you do this. So this is a step that some people will miss, but it's super important because this is the foundation of our little edge. You want to make sure that it doesn't move on you. This is just going to anchor it in. A woman always needs a sledgehammer. It always comes in handy, right? Seriously. I don't know. I just like the sledgehammer because I have concrete. I've just come in a little bit. My half inch rebar. If you do like to do a garden bed that has a 90 degree angle, you can just check with your square that everything comes together nicely by putting it on the edge here. You want to just make sure that your drill is nice and centered here. I'm just going to take my tape and measure out for our next course. It is so important that you are staggering all your seams or you're staggering your joints when you're building an edge like this. We're just gonna put this into position. Now, if you wanna take a look at this, so we're gonna do a technique by setting it back. We're just gonna have a setback, put, put these together and we're gonna have about a quarter inch setback. That's called a batter. And that's actually gonna make our edge stronger. I'm just marked out here near the edge. And I have, I'm pre-drilling everything. You just want to pre-drill. These are galvanized, so they won't rust. To anytime you're pre-drilling something like this, you don't want to go too close to the edge because that can also split your wood. So I'm just making sure I'm a few inches away in the center, and I'm going to drive that through right now. This is just because our wood isn't very good. It was a little bit bowed. It wasn't perfectly straight. So this will actually make our garden a little stronger, and it will look beautiful when it's done. Okay, so once we've done that, we've done, I've got the nail in the other end, our landscape spike. And now I'm gonna drive this one in. And for this eight foot section, I'm gonna use about four of those. You can come over here. So we've got our first one in the corner and we're just setting this back a quarter inch, just a little bit. Order in the court. <laughs> By the way, a good, good idea to pre-order these before the weekend where you start working because all the lumber yard are out of these. There we go. Once you guys have determined the height of your landscape edge or raised plant border, you have a couple of options here. You can do the landscape spikes on the top like we did. You can do screws. Third option is to go with construction adhesive. You can use this. However, if you are doing a garden with food, I wouldn't use this. I would use the other two fastener options. Get that into position. And then you're just gonna have to sit there for 20 minutes. <laughs> <I'm> kidding. <laughs> Now you can just put something heavy on top while the glue sets up. And for great tips on how you can make your own privacy hedge, take a look at this video right here. I'm Deiru, I'll see you in the next one.